Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wine Down Wednesdays, the place where we meet up and we talk about real life situations. And on this week's episode, I've decided to talk about boundaries. As always, make sure you are subscribed because if you're not subscribed by now and you keep coming back to check out my videos, then why not, right? So make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you have that post notification bell turned on so you are alerted each and every time that I post a video. And we're going to go right ahead and get into the topic of boundaries. A boundary basically sets the tone of how you want to be treated, what you are okay with, and what you are not okay with. And boundaries do scare people off. For me, boundaries are a big form of self-care, right? Because if you don't set boundaries, people are going to do what they think they could do, when they think they could do it, and they're going to treat you how they feel like they can treat you. So set those boundaries, okay? And again, when you set those boundaries, just be prepared to have people assuming that you are acting funny, you're being weird so you may lose family you may lose friends you may lose relationships you may lose jobs you may you're gonna lose but at the end of the day those type of losses are wins for you because if you're losing people who are not willing to be receptive to what you want let them go right whatever it is if it's the job right and if for some reason you're always so busy you can't take your lunch break what set that boundary Hey, I'm at lunch for this hour. Please do not reach out to me. Please do not ask me for anything for this hour. That's it. This is my boundary. I'm going to take my hour break from work. And that's it. Again, some jobs may not like that. But guess what? That is your boundary that you're setting. Same things go for relationships or dating, right? Let's say somebody wants to see you and you're like, okay, I can't see you tonight. I'm tired from work or I got this going on or that going on. Don't let them pressure you into still coming outside or letting them come over or having to call them or FaceTime or whatever. Guess what? If you're busy or you're just not up to it, you don't have to be busy. You could just simply not have the mental capacity, the mental capacity to deal with anything or anyone else for the day, right? Guess what? I had a long day at work and now I don't want to go on this date no more. I don't, I don't feel like having this conversation with you right now. Be okay with putting your foot down setting that boundary and saying no and say no without feeling guilty about it because a lot of us I could say I got eight I got 80 percent better or maybe even 90 percent better say no without feeling guilty okay because saying no is also you setting a boundary again no and I used to feel like it had to be like no because da -da -da -da. or if you insist I'll do it no Hey, you got $20? No, I don't. Not, I don't have it really, but maybe I can give it to you. And No, I don't have it. Sorry. No. Click. <laughs> and again, don't let no one make you feel bad about anything. Because guess what? That is your boundary. No, I don't have it to give. Because although you may have it, they say don't give out what you're going to need back, right? Or don't give out what you need. I don't have it. Sorry. So yeah, when you're setting those boundaries, be prepared to lose people, be prepared for people to say you're switching up, you're acting funny, oh, you allowed this before, what now? Let it... Set those boundaries, <laughs> set those boundaries, don't feel bad about it, and guess what, if you dealt with something yesterday and you wake up today, feel like you don't want to deal with that no more, communicate that, and be assertive when you're communicating that. Be clear. Communicate it. No, I'm not tolerating this anymore. If you feel like whoever it is or whatever the situation is, if you feel like you owe them a conversation or you want to give them the, or you want to be courteous and give them a conversation or give them the explanation, 
do whatever floats your boat but again don't let nobody change your mind don't let no one guilt trip you and don't let no one make you feel like you're a bad person because at the end of the day everyone is going to do what's best for them and as i always say do what's best for you so set those boundaries okay if a family if a family member wants you to go to a certain event and you got something else going on don't make them feel like well we're your family this is this I got other plans. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it. That's it. Not, don't make yourself feel guilty. Don't try to say, well, how can I get here and get there and be here? And be... Nope. Unfortunately, I have other obligations. I'm not going to be able to make it. That's it. Again, with the job. I'm on my lunch break. Please give me my full hour and I'll talk to you after. Dating, relationships, whatever. I know we uh, spoke about going on a date, but today was exhausting and I'm not going to be able to make it. That's it shouldn't be all the back and forth it shouldn't be all the over explaining just that's it no even if it's your parents let's say you are telling your children what you don't want them to do or what they shouldn't be doing or something's going on with you and your spouse or you and your friend whoever and if your parents or someone in your family feel the need to interject like oh this this and that you know politely tell them like you're crossing a boundary not right now this is between me and my husband or this is between me and my kids or me and my friend so please do not cross that boundary and feel like you can interject with what's going on over here and if they respect that cool and if they don't let them know this is the boundary you cannot cross or you are not welcome in my home anymore or you are not welcome around my family or whatever don't let no one again don't let no one make you feel like you can't speak up and you can't set boundaries because we are entitled to set boundaries every single day what you dealt with yesterday, you do not have to deal with today. What you deal with today, you don't have to deal with tomorrow. Okay? And that's just that. <sighs> what are some boundaries that you guys feel like you've set and how did it work for you? Did you lose people? Did people respect it? And they, you know, got on board what your boundaries were? How did setting boundaries go for you? For me, setting boundaries have made has made my life so much more peaceful. I feel like I have control over my life. I feel like I feel good. I feel like I'm doing exactly what I want to do and I'm around exactly who I want to be around. And I feel like setting boundaries literally was probably the best thing that I could have ever done. On my boundaries journey, when I was setting boundaries, I also found a book that I have. I started reading. I need to actually go back and reread it because I started. I don't know what happened, but I think I started reading something different. I'm going to show you guys the book. Hold on one second. Okay, so this is the book that I was actually reading. And again, I need to restart this because it's a, it was really good. I just, I forgot what happened that I didn't finish reading it. The name of the book is called Boundaries, When to Say Yes, How to Say No, to Take Control Over. Wait, let me start over. When to Say Yes, How to Say No, to Take Control of Your Life, right? And this is, again, called Boundaries. And on the back, it asks a good question. Are you in control of your life? So back to what I was saying, me setting boundaries really made me feel like I'm in control of my life, which I should be. And yeah, the best thing I could have done is so make sure you set some boundaries, okay? Whatever you're not okay with, speak up. Whatever limits or lines you feel like somebody is crossing, if you say don't cross this line, and even if they right here, guess what? They're crossing the line or overstepping your boundary. So let them know. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this week's episode of Wind Down Wednesdays. I hope you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to see you guys next week on a brand new episode of Wind Down Wednesdays. And make sure you set some boundaries for yourself this week. <laughs>